Hey there, this is Lore, and here is how you can use this template to easily create great Etsy product descriptions in no time. Below this video tutorial, you will find 7 questions that will create the substance of your product description and provide the foundation to create something that truly speaks to your clients. The first one is all about the primary keyword that describes your product. Here is a helpful tip. Before you make any product, do some research to find which keywords people are using. Then make products that fit those keywords. This is way easier than making a product first and then trying to find the right keywords to describe it. But either way, doing research is super important so you don't end up just throwing a spaghetti at a wall and hoping it sticks. For example, I have made all this list of keywords that have product ideas that don't have a lot of competition. And in this one, I had that a 100 day challenge is something that has more searches than competition. And I happen to have created a 100 day money challenge that I can sell. So let's work with this idea. The next question is what type of person would love to find this product? For this challenge, could be someone who wants to be more organized with their money, however, in your case it might be something more specific like a teacher or a daughter, so just write it down here. And now it's time to put yourself in the shoes of your ideal client and try to imagine a struggle or a negative emotion they might be feeling that your product could help with. For example, they might be feeling confused about how to start saving money. Doing a little research on your target audience and using their own words to describe their struggles and negative feelings is super important. However, if you are looking for some quick inspiration, you can check out the common pain points page at the bottom of the template. There you can find the top 25 emotions that we as humans always try to avoid. And now let's talk about the good things and how your product can make someone's lives better. For example, this product can help you save money in a fun and easy way, keep track of your savings, and reach a goal. If you're stuck and can't think of ways your product can help people, you can check out the Benefit Builders page, also in the resources section. It has a list of over 40 different words that can help you come up with cool things to say about your product. The next part is all about the features, which is the more technical stuff like the color, the size, the format. Here I need to go look at my product to think what can I say to describe it. For example, it's an ocean template and it has only one easy page to use and includes 100 days already planned out for you. Now let's choose two positive words that will make your product sound great. If you need some ideas, you can check out the sensory words page in the resources section as well. This page has a lot of positive adjectives and other words that can help your product come alive in people's minds. The last section is about keywords which can help you create the 13 tags for Etsy and these tags are other words or short phrases that can help you describe your product. So we already have the first one which is 100 day challenge. To come up with the other 12, I usually look at my previous keywords list or I do some new research and try to find other words or short phrases that describe the product. And for example, each word or phrase in my keyword list has a link to eRank, which is the keyword tool that I use. So whenever I need to dive deeper into my research, I just click on the link and it takes me to a page where I can usually find other popular terms that describe my product and then start adding them to my list. Another way to find keywords for this section is by checking out similar products and analyzing the keywords and phrases they use. To do that, just scroll down to the bottom of a listing and check if any of the terms under explore related searches can help you complete your tags. A few minutes later. Now that all the hard work is done, it's time for the magic to happen. Open the template for humans and all the data you wrote about will automatically organize itself into a pretty cool product description. If you're watching this on YouTube, I want to respect the people who has bought the template. So I can't show you everything that is inside, but basically all you need to do is to make sure everything makes sense and apply some tweaks like deciding between using two or four or is or are. And to do that, you can select everything and take it to Etsy to start applying the final changes in there. If you want to add some important policies and disclaimers to your product, you can check out the resources section where you can also find 15 different examples that you should definitely consider using. 
Once you find the policies and disclaimers that apply to your product, simply copy and paste them into the product description. And it's ready. Okay, now let's check out the prompts for AI section in the template. This final part takes all the cool stuff you wrote before and puts it together to create the best prompts to use with ChatGPT, Notion AI or whatever app you like. Remember, AI is like a chef, and it can only make a delicious meal if you give it all the right ingredients. And this prompt not only includes the data you collected, but also the tone of voice and the right formatting that works for product descriptions. So we are giving it all the ingredients to make the most amazing dish ever. Just copy and paste it and let it do the rest. Once it's done, you can take it to Etsy and make the final tweaks there. And that's it! If you still don't have this template, I will leave the link on where you can find it in the description box below. And this template is only a section from my Etsy planner template that includes the SEO worksheet so you can create your own keyword leads and many other features to be the most organized Etsy seller ever. If you want to see how that one works, check out this video here and I will see you there. Bye bye!